This is Miss Sissy with Craft Time. Today we're going to be making a cave painting for Pocahontas Festival. Let's make our cave painting. So this is a bit of a recycle craft. So I had a Panera bag here and it's a nice paper bag. So you want any kind of a paper bag. You can go to the grocery store and ask for a paper bag and they'll give you a paper bag for your groceries and you can recycle it. So what we're going to do is I have my handy dandy scissors. We are going to cut our bag. All right, and I really want this area right here. I don't want any of the colorings. And the best part is you don't have to cut everything straight with this craft because cave paintings are not strict on lines or anything like that. Caves form all kinds of different shapes and colors. Oh, gotta cut around the handles to the bag. All right, that's my trash piece and this is my trash piece. All right, so we have our trash pieces to the side and this part we're gonna cut out. I don't want my cave painting to be too large because we'll be here all day painting. There's more trash, goes over my trash pile. All right, and I'm gonna straighten out this edge a little bit. All right, more trash that goes into my trash pile. All right, now whenever you see a cave, they're gonna have all kinds of bumps and crannies all over the walls. So we're gonna take our piece of our cave painting wall and we are going to crumble it up nice and tight. All right. And then we're going to uncrumble it. All right. Ooh, look, it's looking better. I'm going to do it again now. I'm going to do different. Fold it and crumple it differently. So I have all kinds of accents on my walls. All right. Ooh, looking better, huh? All right, one more. Nice and tight. Get your hand exercises. And here's my cave wall. All right, I'm gonna try to flatten it out the best I can even though I crumpled it. All right. And what I'm going to work on first is my different colors of paint. So you've got to remember back to Pocahontas days, whenever they would use any types of paint, it was things that they found in nature that were close to them. I have some yellow here, which they could have gotten from pollen from flowers. I have some red that they could have gotten from berries in the forest. And all of these paints are quick drying acrylic paints. That way it'll dry really quickly on our piece of paper bag. Green, which they probably got from different colors of leaves and things in the forest. I also have brown, which they probably got from the dirt that they mixed with water. And I also have white here. And I'm trying to think what they could have gotten white from. Let me think, because they did use a lot of white. I wonder if they were able to find some natural chalk and they were able to use that. Or perhaps they took spears and things and were able to mark on the walls and it showed up white. But we have our white right here also. Put my scissors to the side. And I'm just going to do a little itty bitty dollop of paint for each because a little bit goes a long way. Oh, well, you see, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, hopefully, the white will be a little bit nicer to me. Okay, perfect. All right, a little bit of red. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, the red's misbehaving. I'm gonna set him to the side. Maybe by the time we come back, he'll be ready to cooperate with us today. Whoops. All right, green, don't be like, oh, there we go. 
probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. And a little bit of brown. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go back to my red. Let's hope our red's behaving. Oops. All right, I'm gonna have to have a discussion with the red later. He is not behaving. That's okay, we have four beautiful other colors here. Now they probably used tools to do their markings on the caves, but they also probably use their fingers. So I am going to do some with the tool, which I do have a paintbrush right here. And then I will do some markings also with the paint with my finger. All right. The one thing I love about cave drawings is you don't have to get too artistic with it because I'm not as artistic as people think. So I'm just going to do simple. Like here's a person. some brown and I'm just going to make up my own markings and as you see I am mixing my colors which I do love to do I'll make a piece simple your cave drawing is what you make it I'm gonna use some white I'm gonna do a flower As I said, your cave drawing is what you make it. You could do, you could draw cars, you could draw trucks, anything you would like. Just doing some little random symbols. This could easily be corn right here. All right, let me see what else. I like to do something with some edges. So I'm just going to do some random drawing for edges. And like I said, you make it your own, however you would like yours to look. The edges kind of are coming out pretty. I really do like bright colors and I love this yellow. So I'm gonna do little dots. So this was my section of the cave. Alright. I always like putting hearts whenever I can. So make your cave drawing whatever you would like. Thank you for joining Miss Sissy for Craft Time and enjoy the rest of the Pocahontas Festival.